Last week I put out a message like, what, what do you guys want to know about? The trail egg, the plant, overwhelming majority said they wanted to know why I tell people to plant at one o'clock. So here's why. First off, you have to know why the plant is important. Plant is the transition between the run and the air stuff. Here's the plant, right, where everything meets. I look at it like you cannot add energy once you leave the ground. All the energy you have is built up in your run. So if you have a crappy transition putting it into the next section, you're gonna fall apart. So here's a sequence of some dudes vaulting. It's circled where the plant is, the transition phase. The important part. Here's another one if you like color. Circle. Right there. That's why it's important. Here's why I preach a straight, tall, locked arm at takeoff. We have this rope. A bent elbow is like having slack in your rope. I tie my rope to my hand, and no matter how much I pull, I'm not moving it. There's slack in my rope. But if that arm is locked and your rope is taut, then I can pull on my hand, right? Slack, nothing, straight, I can pull. Also, if there's a force that's pulling long enough, eventually the rope will straighten and it will start pulling. By having slack in your rope when you take off, it leads to being in poor positions. And poor positions lead to losing more energy during the vault. So if you take off and you're leaning back and you're already halfway swung, so you get to only swing this far, versus if you take off, the other way, you get to swing more of your circle. Does that make sense a little bit? But no matter what, if you start with slack in your rope, it's going to go straight. It always does, but you will be in a terrible position to keep that energy you just built up in that awesome run you just had. Part two. So now by having that bent elbow, taking off here, you're making it so instead of having a stretch reflex in your shoulder, which is made to like, that's why we do throwing motions. But if you are bent and you take off from here, then you're gonna have mobility in your lower back and that's why people's lower backs start to hurt because they're taking the brunt of the force into their lower back versus their shoulders where your shoulders are supposed to be mobile and your back is supposed to be stable. So if you take off here and then you switch it around and you have a stable shoulder here, then something else has to go. Something else has to be mobile and it's usually the back and people's backs start to hurt. So just to reiterate, a late plant leads to inefficient positions. Terrible positions. So, so what I like to do is if a kid can't figure out how to plant, I tell them to try and plant into a wall. And when they plant into the wall, they usually can push. And I tell them to try and push the pit or the wall to the other wall. Or if you want to say it in a funny way, plant the pole into the pit and try and move the pit down to Mexico or Canada, whatever direction you're facing. And most of the kids reach and push at one o'clock. Eventually that one o'clock leads to 12 o'clock. But if you start here, it picks you up forward versus put me, putting you in that crappy position. But is, is what I find is the plant being late happens more often than not. If their timing is on from walking plants, but their run is all over the place, their plant's gonna be late. So I always think it's better to show up to the party early than late. Nine times out of 10, if you tell a kid to throw up their arms early, it'll be on time. And the one o'clock doesn't come from the vaulter. It comes from the ground. So this is not one o'clock, this is three o'clock. This is not one o'clock, this is midnight. If you don't believe me, try it. Try planning into the pole with your hand here and leaning backwards. Try planning into a wall with your elbows bent and feeling them getting locked. Try planning into a wall or a box, not running full speed, but just walking into it with your arms at one o'clock and then try noon and then try and do it a little faster. And then there's variance. I'm not just saying this, Test it for yourself, see that this makes sense. Plant in front of your head a little bit while you're tall and keep pushing everything up and you'll start to feel the pull pick you up versus throw you into like this swing that you don't wanna be in a swing yet. Does that make sense? Let me know. I feel like a lot of people have been asking me questions about this and I know this got a little long, but it works. I've seen it, I've had state champions because of it, I've had state record holders because of it, and I've jumped high because of it too. So, I don't know what else I need to tell you. Drew, you gotta say, you gotta say something inspiring. There's a lot of people who watch these. Um, Dude, not, not inspiring enough. Come on. Do it more. for the people who wanna see you fail. Yeah, I like that one. All right, that was more inspiring than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs>
Ooh, yeah, yeah. Bow, bow. 